Hello friends, it's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. In today's video, we will be playing Peasant Run, Pheasant Run, not sure how to pronounce it, Peasant Run Golf Club in Stouffville, Ontario. It's in the York region, a little bit north of downtown. Since we had to drive all the way out here, we actually went apple picking this morning, so really happy. Got up a bit earlier and now we are about five minutes from the golf course. Really excited, I've never played this golf course. I know it is a public, I think maybe municipal golf course in this area. Heard a few good things about it, so yeah, let's see. Love when there's a drive. Sitting grass. Like Looks nice. The quality you get when you leave downtown, I'm telling you. It's, uh, it's worth the drive so far. So when you get through the front gates, you do have to drive a good distance. I want to say like five minutes. And then there is a parking lot while well, we're in it right now. There's going to be signs that take you to it. All right, a little update for y'all. Um, Monero's got hacked, so currently it's cash only. But they're taking our ID in case the systems come back by end of day. Welcome to Peasant Run Golf Club, located in Sharon, Ontario. There are three nines on this golf course. The first nine is Southern Uplands, a par 35. Second nine is the Midlands, par 36. And the most difficult nine is the Highlands, par 37. In today's video, we are going to be playing the Southern Uplands course and the Highlands course, adding up to a total of par 72. Let's get started with the first hole, which is a par 4, 352 yards. My first shot, I pushed off the left, just nerves off the first tee. But in general, on this hole, you want to stay on the right side because the hole does drop off to, I don't know what hole it is, but it's a different hole down there. One thing I will say right off the bat, because you will notice throughout this video, this golf course has a lot of slopes. The fairways are going to be sloping one way or the other. The greens are really difficult to read. That being said, the golf course was in excellent condition. It's just challenging, especially if it's your first time on this golf course. This is a prime example. Hole number two is a short par four, 330 yards, dog leg left, right downhill from the fairway. So off the tee, you don't want to take driver. Any shot that is under 200 yards will be perfect. Talk about a slope and a tiny green. Please know I do straighten out all my footage, so if you see the fairway is sloped like this, that's how it is in real life. I thought I was going to hit that ball right because the ball was below my feet and then I ended up hitting it straight, so <laughs> yeah. Also we're playing uplands as our front nine and this is apparently the easier nine even though the undulations and the elevation changes are not easy. <laughs> Hole number three is a longer par four, 391 yards. It's pretty straightforward, but the fairway drops off. So as a trend, a lot of the time off the tee, you won't be able to see the fairway. But for this shot, aim for the left edge of the bunker and you should have enough distance to carry it. Didn't get the perfect contact here, but also the green is elevated a bit, so I could have clubbed up for sure. Hole number four is a slightly downhill par three, 137 yards. On all of the par threes, they have a little yardage marker on the side of the tee markers. Okay. 
carry. Carry, carry, carry. Oh, nice shot. It went over. Hole number 5, we're hopping back to a short par 4, 295 yards, slight dog leg right. Off the tee, I am hitting 5 wood again, and I'm trying to go just right of the pointy tree right in front of us. Now as you can see, this shot had a tail draw at the end, and I ended up in the center of this massive bunker. So if you stay to the right, you will be on the fairway. Granted, the fairway for this hole is not very wide. Line. These greens will give you a run for your money. I don't know what kind of grass these are. Let me know in the comments if you do know. Um, I honestly don't know the difference between the different grasses, but this is one of them where if it's with the grain, it will just continue running nonstop. And if it's against the grain, it just won't move. It's, this is one of those. Hole number six is a short par four, 336 yards, another hole where you can't hit driver. Handicap one hole on this golf course. The green is actually behind the water hazard on the left. I pushed this shot and it drew and it went into the water. <laughs> Ideally, you wanna go right of that. So here I am taking a drop for my third shot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but that last putt felt good. Hole number seven, par four, 337 yards. This hole is pretty wide open, so we just want to go straight down the middle of the fairway. Up ahead for your second shot into the green, the hole does take a slight left turn, but again, this is a pretty open hole, so you do have a lot of fairway to work with. One thing with the bunkers, they were really firm. No rocks, they were just on the firm side, so I would say take a slightly lower lofted wedge. So I had 56 there when I normally would probably use my 60 degree and it works out perfect. Hole number eight, par three, 138 yards. The pin was in the back, so it was playing closer to 145. I think I have seven iron in hand. Obviously you see the water hazard on the right and the bunker immediately in front of the green. So it's best to stay centered or left of the green here. The left side is all open space and some rough. I was due for a putt to drop. My putter was actually feeling good. These greens are just really difficult, okay? Hole number nine, par five, 450 yards. The first and only par five on this nine. This hole is a dock like left, but it is a par five and you do have a lot of distance to go straight just over the hazard off the tee. Good thing I took an iron here because up ahead there is a water hazard on the right in front of the green. Yeah. 
And that was the Southern Uplands Nine Holes. Don't worry, the back nine is gonna get a lot more interesting. Welcome to the Highlands Nine, hole number one, par five, 515 yards. Dog leg right, off the tee, you're safe to go straight. And then you will see, this hole takes a turn uphill. From here you can see it is actually better to stay on the left side off the tee because at least you will get a view of the elevated green up ahead. Happy mid-autumn festival everyone! It doesn't even feed me first. Oh, it's an egg! Mm. <laughs> Don't underestimate these slopes. Make sure to club up. Now that we've come up the hill on the first green, let's go back down the hill. Hole number two is a downhill par four, 344 yards, big dog leg right here. If you wanna take driver, you do have enough distance, at least for me, I had enough distance, but I did have to hug the tree line. Do as I say, not as I do, because I hit this one into the trees, and then the other girl saw my ball hop back out into the middle of the fairway, just really far from the hole. Oh, out. Okay. <laughs> Nice! <laughs> so here we are on the bottom level on the fairway, but very far away. Short putts that have a lot of break are probably my least favorite golf shot, but you have to deal with them sometimes. <laughs> Hole number three, par three, 130 yards. This one is even elevation, so nothing much to it, just go for the green. Not sure why the shot was out of focus. I think a bug landed on the viewfinder or something, but look at this putt. Look at how it just slips away. I, I don't understand these greens. Love the golf course though. All right, hole number four. Speaking of downhill, you might be wondering, where's the rest of this hole? Don't worry, it's 100 yards south of where we're standing. We couldn't see from up above, but once you drive down, there are two massive water hazards sandwiching the beginning of the fairway. So if you hit a good shot, they're not going to be in play, but if you hit a short shot, the water hazards, just, just know that they're there. Another close call, but from this view, you can actually see the hole and where we teed off from all the way up at the top. Hole number five, fairly straight to par four, 352 yards. Why is this the handicap two hole on this golf course with no hazards? You're gonna see in a second. Off the tee, you'll wanna aim for the left side of the fairway. Chasing them down. 
And here's why I'm telling you to go left of the fairway off the tee. You saw in my shot tracer that I actually hit a draw to the left side of the fairway and the ball rolled to where it is now. Get up. Get up. Nice. Double tiered green here, if the pin is in the back, you'll want to club up because you do want to get over this hill, otherwise your ball 100% will roll back down. <laughs> there are three par fives on the Highlands 9 and two of them are back to back. Starting with hole number 6, par 5, 430 yards, this hole is pretty straightforward except when the sun is setting you're hitting into the sun. I know I hit a fade barely inbounds on this shot, but you do want to stay on the right side. The left side drops off to a different hole. A little bit windy here. This is definitely a reachable par 5. If you were on the fairway, you'd have a better view of the green. It's actually at the end of this tree line where that smaller tree is in the distance. That's about where the green is. So for my shot, I hit it left a bit and I was just in an open area of rough. I went like over the 150 pin that direction. Good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay, got a birdie. Hole number seven, another par five, 522 yards, handicap one hole on this golf course. Again, avoid going left because you're going to have a lot of fun running down the hill and running back up. Sorry the shot tracer couldn't pick up this shot, the sun was directly in front of us so the sky is just white, my camera couldn't pick it up either. But on this hole you want to stay on the right side of the fairway because as you can see now, the fairway slopes hard right to left. He's very aware that he's fall backwards. Yeah, yeah. Listen up, if you remember anything from this video and you're going to play this golf course soon, club up on this hole. Hole number 8 is a par 3 and whatever the sign says the yardage is, add 10 yards. <laughs> Alright, so this wasn't a terrible shot. It wasn't perfect, it was a bit thin, but it wasn't like 20 yards short. And then the second shot I actually hit a little bit better and again, plop, in the water. And guess what? We watched every single person on the group behind us also did the exact same thing. Alright, this was just bad. But what I'm trying to say is there's no way that 10 people on These this golf course, the including the group in front of us, can't get the correct they distance. It. <laughs> it must mean that that hole is actually playing longer than it says. Anyways, rant over. Hole number 9, last hole, par 4, 340 yards, slight dog leg left. We get a few good weeks in Canada before the leaves just fall off the trees. Before that, fall is actually a beautiful season to play golf in Canada. Highly recommend. the slope. The slope is on a slant. Golden hour is getting earlier. The trees are starting to turn color. We saw some red leaves on the ground, some yellow leaves on the ground. Oh my god, that last putt. I'm gonna forget it. I'm gonna delete it from my brain. The hole was on a slope in my defense. 
but also it's really shitty to have a birdie, short birdie putt and have a bogey. Anyways, we're gonna not gonna talk about it. They did fix the machines, so I was able to pay with card, which is much better, for two people on a Saturday teen off at 1.50 p.m., including tax and one cart. So everything all together, it was 207 Canadian dollars. So about $100 a person with cart. It's gonna be a little bit cheaper if you walk the golf course. That said, you guys saw the footage. This golf course has a lot of hills. So I would recommend riding and getting a cart unless you're ready to you know, walk all those hills. I know I would have shin splints afterwards if I did that. Um, but yeah, it is a walkable course. The, the holes are pretty close together. It's just, there's a lot of hills. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the golf course and what I thought of it. Um, for a public golf course, I was really pleasantly surprised by it. It's really challenging. The greens are almost impossible to read for like an average person. I think we all struggled a little bit. There was a lot of hills. You're not gonna have a lot of flat lie shots. Even if you're in the middle of the fairway, you might be on a slope. The bunkers were on the drier side, no rocks though, so it's all good. They're just really firm. So sometimes your ball will land in the bunker and it'll actually run out um, just because they're firm. The greens were in good condition. They were pretty fast, especially if you're on a slope. It just, it doesn't stop. Overall, I really enjoy this golf course. I personally prefer a flatter golf course, but I'm not mad because I feel like this golf course was worth what we paid for it. It was moving at a pretty good pace. We were a group of four. We got paired up with a really nice couple. The group in front was just, we were waiting like maybe two minutes on every shot, so not too bad. Yeah, nothing but good things to say. Thank you to the people in the comments that have suggested this golf course to me. Multiple people have commented over a few videos to check out this golf course. It's a little bit outside of downtown Toronto. It's in the York region, so it's like an hour drive for us, but I think it was worth it. That's all for today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me it really helps to push this video out to more people comment down below if you've played this golf course if you have other golf course suggestions around this area this is a really nice area i would come out here again if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure to hit that if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button for me and i will see you in my next video bye